Hello again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with some happy mail, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of the other. Um, in, you probably noticed that I am a little bit more subdued than I usually am, and that's because I'm feeling a little under the weather at the moment. Um, today I got a booster shot and a flu shot as well. I figured two birds, one stone, and uh, I am really tired. <laughs> More than usual. I mean, tired is usually my, my, my go-to state of being, but no, I'm, I am, I am tired, but, but. I wanted to get a video out to you, um, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's a little, a little bit later than my usual schedule also because, um, I don't think that I'm going to be posting my usual Thursday video because here in the U S we're going to have Thanksgiving. Yes. I, I know that it's not celebrated around, you know, in other parts of the world, but, um, going to have Thanksgiving here, and I'm going to spend it with my mom. It's just going to be the two of us, and uh, we're going the non-traditional route. We are going to have a ham um, as opposed to a turkey, because uh, I, when it comes to leftovers, I personally, I prefer ham. That That's just, that's just me and my personal preference. Um, and we're going to have a cheesecake and that that's really nice. And so, yeah, I'm probably not going to be uh, posting on Thursday like I usually do. Uh, but I, depending on how I feel, <laughs> um, I do have every intention of posting a tutorial for this weekend. I already have the, the project lined up. That's not a problem. It's just getting the the get up and go, uh, you know, the, the, the chutzpah, uh, to actually do the filming for it for this weekend. So it's a work in progress. Um, well also, uh, really, really, really wanted to thank all of you for your overwhelming response and support of the, the baking video, uh, fiber spider in the kitchen making easy cheesy biscuits. Um, the response, I was just, it was, you guys are so sweet, really. And I thank you for that. Lots of really positive comments. And yeah, I, I, I have never really cook or bake or anything like that. So you guys were very, very, very sweet. And I do appreciate that as well. And yes, I already have ideas for my next video uh, in the kitchen at some point. I'm not entirely sure when, but at some point, um, it's going to be more of a, a dessert item. Yes, going in for the sweets. Mm hmm. Yep. And if it is as I think it's going to be, oh, it's going to be decadent. Very easy, but very decadent. Oh, yes. And there will be chocolate involved. Mm -hmm. So you have that to look forward to. Um, and also, I do have an origami tutorial that will coincide with that as well. I, so I'm, I'm, I am planning. I am thinking ahead. Yes. Um, and uh, so as far as, <clears throat> excuse me. As far as Thursday is concerned with Thanksgiving, I am thankful for all of you. Yes, I am. Because you guys, you motivate me, you brighten my day, and, uh, you know, you, you keep me going. And you guys are like my second family, so I thank you. Um, and of course, I am thankful for my mom, and I am thankful for my health, mm -hmm. and that I have a home and that I'm employed, and that, you know, I, I have I have what I need. I may not necessarily have everything that I want, who does, but I have what I need, and that's what is important. Yes. So that's what I'm thankful for. And what are you thankful for? Regardless of wh whether you, you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, what are you thankful for? Let me know in the comments section down below. So with that being said, 
we have a couple of things to open. And that's also what I'm thankful for because, you know, you, you guys really spoil me rotten and I really do appreciate it. So let's see what's inside. Alrighty. So first up, I got a card from my good friend Russ and it's, it's a little off colored, but I thought it was hysterical and I wanted to share it with you guys. It says, wait, they stick the stuffing where? <laughs> I just thought that that's, that's cute. Um, and on the inside, it says, hope your Thanksgiving is free from unpleasant surprises. Russ, thank you. It's very sweet. And it's very, the humor is very questionable, like myself. So thank you, Russ. It was, it was so sweet. Thank you. Um, and next up, I, ha I have a bunch of things that we're going to get to. Next up, I have a little box from my friend Kathy. And I'm armed. I'm dangerous. Um, now, I think that this is the one that she said that this might be uh, jewelry making related. And I, I tell you, I haven't made jewelry, oh my, since I started this channel, actually. Um, so let's see here. So we have, we have a card. We have to open the obligatory card first. Ooh. Little Thanksgiving scene. Thinking of you warmly at Thanksgiving with a wish for a wonderful holiday. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Kathy. Now, let's see what this is. Now, when, whenever you get something with bubble wrap, do you like to pop the bubbles? I do. I like to pop the bubbles. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, it's it's wrapped upon wrapped upon wrapped. Let's see what what is this? Very well wrapped. Ooh. What is this? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at these spiders. I mean, I know that they're earrings, but look at these guys. How fun are they? That's really wild. Thank you. These are funky. So yeah, I know that these are earrings, but I mean, I'm sure I could do something or other with them. Now, what else? What are these? Ooh, and we got, we got webs. We got webs. So we've got spiders and we've got webs. These are cool. Thank you. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to specifically do with these, but I imagine that I will figure it out. Now, personally, I think that these are a little bit big for earrings. Um, however, I think that these might be pretty cool for like a necklace pendant. Or something like that. That 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 could work. Um, hmm. Also, I think that they're a little, perhaps a little bit too big for, say, uh, stitch markers. But I can think of something. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. So let me just scoot these back in their little box. Okay. So let's see what else we got today, folks. Alrighty, so next up, I have from my friend uh, Mary Jo, I have a card here, and I also have a package from Mary Jo as well, so let's see. It's really in here. <laughs> Come on. There we 
There we go. Oh, look at the little mousy. Look at the mousy wowsy. Oh. Just popping in to say hello. And hoping you'll find happiness everywhere you look this Thanksgiving from Mary Jo. Thank you. Actually, it's funny because with that little mousy reminds me um, of the books that I've been reading. Um, the the Red Wall series. Oh, I I haven't I haven't stopped yet. No, I'm still going with that. Um, right now I'm on I believe it's I believe it's the fifth book. It's called uh, Salamandastron. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but yes, that is a, that is a badger with a spear. Yes, yes, I know, right? Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the fifth book. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the fifth book out of like 22, 23 some odd books. Um, and it's following the same sort of formula, you know, You've got evil rats and stoats and weasels, and then you've got the good moss flower uh, residents, the good creatures, you know, the, the squirrels and the otters and the moles and so on and so forth. I mean, it's it's cute. It's a fantasy adventure. You know, it. I like it, you know. So that's what I've been doing. And then I got a package as well. And now this one says, open now. Okay. I mean, I, I did get this a few days ago, but I wanted to open it on camera with you guys. So let's, let's see. I'm getting there. I don't want to use the cutting tools because this is an envelope and I don't know what's inside, but it's squishy. It's very squishy. Okay. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you, Mary Jo. I I have to I have to do it justice. Uh, yep. Are are you implying that I'm a big turkey? Is that is that what you are implying? Let, let's get the the full effect here. Okay, thank you. I have never, I have never had a turkey on my head before until now. Okay, okay. Th 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 this is, this is unique. And hence why you said open now, because it's, it's time sensitive. That makes sense now. And it is squishy. I wonder what my mom is going to say when she sees me. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> unexpected. Pleasant surprise, but very unexpected indeed. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? It goes with my uh, my skeleton apron. Actually, I got a lot of questions about the, the skeleton-fronted apron when I did my... Uh, my baking video. And, uh, yes, Mary Jo, uh, she was very sweet and sent that to me. So that explains that. I don't even know if I'm wearing this the right way, if it's supposed to be like this, or if it's supposed to be, um, the other way like this. I don't know. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's fun and kooky, however, which way you wear it. Um, but you know, I, I, no, no, not the, the, the wing. It, it makes me think of like a, a samurai, uh, kind of helmet thing going on there, but you know, I, I like it. it it's fun. It's cute. 
Thank you, Mary Jo. Okay, so that being said, we have a couple more things. Um, so let's see what's next, shall we? Okay. <laughs> All right, so next up, I have what appears to be a letter from uh, Mary in Lancaster. So let's take a look, see. What I have my letter opener here. Let's take a look. Aha. Let's see. What is this? There we go. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Mary says, hi, Craig. Uh, I'm working on your modern granny shawl. I'm on YouTube viewing it. I tried to find a written pattern, but couldn't. Is there one available? Please let me know. Thank you. Well, Mary, um, I didn't write one out. Um, however, uh, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's only like a two row repeat. So, I mean, I would say, you know, if, you know, if it's absolutely necessary for a written pattern, I would say just write it out. It's just a two row repeat, you know, should be good, you know. Um, but, uh, no, I, I, I don't have a written pattern for the ones that I do have a written pattern. Um, if it's not my pattern, I always put that as a, a link in the description box down below, or if it's a pattern that I have written up, I always put a link to my Etsy store where I have it available for sale. So either or, but, uh, for that one in particular, I do not, I'm sorry, but it's, it's, it's a simple two row repeat. So you know, you can do it. Yeah. So that being said, now I've got two more things here, fairly large things. Um, so let's take a look-see, shall we? Now, these two things, if I'm not mistaken, these are both from Mary Beth. So let's see. Now, this first one is from Joanne's. I tell you, I have not been to a Joann's in a long time. Um, you know, I've been to Michael's not that long ago. Um, oh, man. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the, I, I'm liking, I'm liking very much. Pound of Love. You guys know I love Pound of Love. And this is, this looks like pumpkin spice. It is pumpkin spice. Yes. So I've got two of these bad boys. Woo. Plenty to make something rather substantial. And, and I got two more. These are in the colorway of, I think, cranberry? Cherry, excuse me. Very, very bright. Very bright. I love them. Um, and then we also got, uh, this is a, a boy ergonomic aluminum crochet hook, cool handle, and it's a size J. Check that out. Looks sort of marbled. I like, and I do like the size actually too. Thank you very much. And yes, I love, uh, the, the boy or the, uh, clover style hooks, the, the shape of those, as opposed to like the Susan Bates style of hook. It's just, everybody has their own personal preference and that happens to be mine. So, um, let's see, is there anything else in here just in case? Nope. We're good. Okay. So, um, you know, some people, they like the cut of the, the, Susan Bates style hooks. Me personally, I find that with uh, how I do my crocheting, it tends to snag the yarn. It tends to 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 split it. Um, that's just my own personal my own personal experience. It's the same thing with the the style of the cut of the the furls hooks. Same deal. So that being said, to each their own, right? So thank you very much. I appreciate it very much, Mary Beth. Um, these will come into 
they, they will be used and they will come in handy. And I thank you for that. Now there's one more, which I, I, I know it's yarn. It's gotta be yarn. So let's see what's inside of there. All right, so I've got one package left and this is from Premier. Yes, this is from Premier Yarns. And so let's take a look-see. Oh. Sorry. Me and my turkey hat. <laughs> Pardon me while I while I struggle in my my weakened condition. I, let's see. Ooh. What is this? Ooh. Okay, let's, let's get everything out here. Let, let's do it justice, shall we? Oh. Okay, we good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just making sure that there wasn't like a special note or anything on there. All right, so we have appears to be two colorways going on here. And so let's just open the one that has both. So let's take a look. See, so there's a variegated and a solid. Now this is, sorry, this is Premier Basics. Now I've never worked with this before, honestly. So this is going to be fun. So we have here. Now it looks very much like uh, Red Heart Super Saver in. I think it's like the autumn uh, colorway. I mean, that, that's what it looks like to me. You know, I don't know if it's the, uh, the, the same yarn, but with a different name. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. And I, I love, love this colorway. Don't get me wrong, because it's got that beautiful autumn leaf variegated thing going on. Very, very pretty. And it's called Harvest. That's the, the name of the colorway. Um, and so this is... Do, 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 do. So it, it's a medium weight of four, and it's a, a worsted weight, uh, 245 yards, five ounces. It's 100% acrylic, and great, you know. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of these. I can make something rather substantial with this because there's so many of them. Because um, if it's 245 yards times five, so, you know, over a thousand yards, I could make something pretty groovy with this. Very, very cool. Now the other colorway is doo, 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 mahogany. It's a nice, lovely, rich brown color. And yeah, I mean this this reminds me very much of Red Heart Super Saver in the the thickness and the the feel of it. I love, I love, love, love because it's easy to work with. It's straightforward. Um, now this is 359 yards. Now it's funny because that's very similar to Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver, because the variegated yarns, generally speaking, you always get more yardage with the, the solid colors than with the variegated. Why they do that? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I'm just a turkey head. Um... And this is uh, seven ounces. It's the same weight of yarn. And I love because between the two of these, I could do a really cool project. Now I've got uh, four of these and I've got five of these. Now what might be cool is doing maybe a granny project or maybe some sort of chevron throw. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I have no idea, though. Or maybe uh, some sort of cowl project or a hooded scarf or... I don't know. I'm undecided. But that's half the fun, isn't it? <laughs> so, oh, okay. So... I have my work cut out for me, most definitely. Ugh, okay. Okay, my dear. So that wraps up another video for today. Thank you for joining me. And thank you, everybody, who sent me such lovely things today. I really appreciate it. Really brightened my day in an otherwise eh sort of day. Um, you know, just... I'm really exhausted. I am really tired and I am going to probably spend the rest of this day in, in bed, um, you know, propped up on some pillows, watching some YouTube videos and, uh, you know, trying to stay hydrated and, and so forth. Um, you know, I'm probably not going to be getting any stitching done tonight at all, which is anathema to me, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm exhausted. No. Oh, anyway, enough of my kvetching. Uh, thank you again to everybody for joining me. And, uh, also I hope that all of you have a really nice holiday, uh, for those of you that are celebrating. And if you aren't have a great day, regardless, um, please stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching. Love you guys. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day. Thank you.